In this video, I'm going to show how I set up the BeagleBone Black to control three servos using PWM. And first, I'm going to log on to my BeagleBone. Alright, I'm on. And the first thing I did was I went to. Where did I go? I went to the library. And firmware see what device tree files I could use for the PWMs and the center column shows all the DTS files that are already on the beagle bone then I just remembered you know that that's one of the pins I use I type this in to the UENV text file I'm going to show that here and putting it in that file made it where the beagle bone would automatically set it in slots at boot up so once I do this I never have to I don't have to type it in anything I just turn the beagle bone on it it's already in slots but this is the file I went to do ls oh and one of the p8 headers one of the pins I used it um, just using one of the HDMI pins so I have to mount this manually P1 to media. Let's do that. All right, it's there now. I go into this file and show you what I did. The only thing I, I had to add this whole snippet right here for the the set the PWM on the processor on um, processor whatever one pin two pins three and that will automatically put it in slots to the cat slots And that text file that I changed would do this. It would set these in there at boot. Um, I made a shortcut so I didn't have to type out the whole file path for slots. And I'll show you how I've made shortcuts for slots, pins, and the different motor pins that I'm using. And to do that, I go into etc and change the profile that's where I put all my shortcuts I don't know if that's the best way to do it but it works this one was already there I didn't do anything with that but I did slots so I can just do a cat dollar sign slots and it will go to this file path and show me what the value is. I did pins as well. They don't really do you much good because it, uh, it's just. I hadn't gotten any use out of it, but I, I set the period and duty cycle for each pin. And um, after you put it in slots, I don't know if you noticed, but it changed the name. <clears throat> and I'll show you like how I knew to put that number in there to get it to work as the shortcut. Because if you just do P8 13 and don't do the that part right there, it will not work. But that is in 
That's the one thing I didn't write down. And I think it's in system devices CP. Yep. There's yeah. There's one right here. There's the other two. And you just have to put that last part right here to get it to work. And after you have all this set up, it should be fairly easy to change the period and duty cycle, especially with all the shortcuts. You don't have to type all this in, which is very convenient. I thought it was anyway. So you do an echo. I'll show you what it is at first. I'll do cat. What was that? Whatever. Show the period for the one pin that I have a servo connected to. And that's the default value. So what I'm going to do is do the echo 20 milliseconds. Oh well. So I do a cat and it changed it. Now that I set the period, I can change the duty cycle. Should be able to hear the servo in the background. Now I'll post another video on my blog just showing it working. So I do another echo. Mm. I had to play around with the numbers to figure this out, but uh, I finally got it. Five. Maybe three D. Forgot the dollar sign. Three D. I don't know if you heard it, but it moved. That was either zero or one hundred and eighty degrees. And that should go all the way around. And this one should be ninety degrees. This is just a quick video showing how I set it up. Um, sorry if I forgot anything, but and I used this helped out a lot. I went to Derek Malloy's website. If you've played with the Beagle Bone, you know, you probably ended up there at least a couple times. But he made this table that shows all the pins and the different modes and uh, the default. modes and what's allocated to the EMMC and the HDMI and for some reason because I used one of these pins just for the HDMI it uh, changing the file the UN, UENV file it, uh, I have to mount it manually. It's not a big deal. It still works, it just doesn't mount it. Yeah, hope this helps.